Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Technical Gentleman. Today's video, we're going to be talking about drive encryption. So uh, encryption is basically a method of ensuring that your, your files, your drives are not easily accessible without a, a very long, complicated password, basically. Uh, if you don't have, if your drive is not encrypted, um, and, and somebody were to get a hold of your computer, they don't need your, your login information or any of that stuff to be able to pull basically all of your data off of that. Uh, your, your files are just kind of sitting on your hard drive, just open for anybody to read with a little bit of know-how, um, very, very easily. So if, if you are, it is, it is just, it, everybody ought to encrypt their, their hard drive, whatever drive you've got your, your files and your operating system installed on ought to have the full whole drive encrypted. Uh, and then when you, when you turn on your computer, you'll have, before your operating system comes up, you'll have a little password to type in. Um, and, and then you'll kind of go through the normal login process. Uh, but that will, that will help to ensure that. Uh, it's partic like, particularly if you've got like a laptop and you're commuting to and from work and school and you're worried about something like that getting stolen. You don't want just anybody to be able to pull your files and stuff out of, off of that. You're going to have passwords and pictures and all documents, all that good stuff. And and so this is just a, this is an e it's an easy, it's easy to set up and it's an important way to protect your computer. So uh, this is going to be for folks on Windows. I'm, I'm assuming a lot of you guys are probably on Windows. Uh, I don't use Windows. I use Linux. And we're going to talk about Linux in a future video, kind of once we get up to some of the higher tiers. Uh, but but if you're using Linux already, you already know how to do this. So I'm not telling you how to do this. Uh, if you're using Windows, um, the tool that I'm going to recommend you use is called Veracrypt. Um, it is a free and open source project, uh, very easy to use. Uh, you just go onto their website here to the download section. Uh, you can go ahead and download the the uh, the uh, exe file here. Uh, I'll let that download. We'll go ahead and run that. Do the installation. There we go. I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk you through the whole process here. Um, go ahead and install. Just go ahead and install. And it's probably take a minute. I'm running this in a virtual machine, so this computer is not particularly fast because of that. Um, so if you're running this on a computer with a little bit more beef, this whole process will not take nearly as long. Um, no, we don't need to this tutorial. Uh, go ahead and X out of this. And let's go ahead and launch Veracrypt. Okay, so we're going to want to encrypt up here in system. We're going to want to encrypt system partition drive. I'm pretty sure that's what we want to do here. Yep. So go ahead and, uh, click normal, leave that as normal. Uh, Let's see, partition of the current. Yeah, we'll go ahead and encrypt the Windows system partition. Go ahead and do a single boot. And this is, you You would change this. If you were doing a dual boot, you would change some of this. Obviously, you might do a multi-boot. Um, but I'm just doing this in a VM, so there's no reason to do any of that. Uh, encryption, de definitely leave that as AES. Uh, leave that. That's all fine. Um password okay so you're gonna want to pick a really good strong password for this um i'm gonna talk next video i think about uh password management but when you're doing this you want to make sure it's a really long complicated password so in order to show you just how crazy and long and complicated uh i'm gonna make that there you go there you go look at that that's about as secure as it gets uh, again, this is a VM. <laughs> if this was an actual drive, I'd be, I'd be making this a pretty long, crazy password, but this, that's, that's fine for now. Um, go ahead and hit next. It's going to yell at me for you choosing a short password, but I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. Okay. So this is actually going to the way that it's going to generate this key is from your mouse movements. So, uh, 
I'm, you're just move your mouse randomly around this window for like a really long time. Do it for like 30 plus seconds. The longer you do it, the more secure your password's going to be. Uh, that's fine for me, but you do it like when you're doing this on your actual system partition, do this for like a minute. You know, a lot of the more you do it, the better your, your encryption is going to be. Go ahead and hit next. Uh, click yes. Uh, next. Um, I'm going to skip this, um, I think, but what this is going to, I'm not going to go through this process, but this is, this is a, uh, this is, this is like a master key. So if, if, uh, something were to go wrong, this would help you restore your system. So you would want to, um, you would want to go through this verification process. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip it. Actually, no, I'll, I'll show you just for kick's sake. So you can see where it's creating it. Go ahead and next. Oh, it needs a CD burner. That's because I'm running this in a I'm not doing this. This is this is this is running a VM. It's gonna be too too nuts to uh uh I terminate the process. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's gonna make me do it again. Crap. Alright, rush through, rush time. Single boot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes. Move, move, move. Random mouse movements. Good. Now, there we go. We got our random mouse movements. Next. Yes. Uh, next. I'm skipping this now. Next. Next. Yeah, that's fine. Wipe mode. Okay, don't... Don't wipe. Wiping does not make any sense uh, when you're when you're uh, wiping. You, this would this would wipe your actual drive, so that's a dumb thing to do. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, drive zero. Nothing. Test. Go ahead and test this. Okay. Yes, we want to restart. So this is gonna this is gonna test everything and make sure everything is working before it does the encryption. Uh. I've never done this in a VM before. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four. So yeah, this, that's that's good. That's working. Uh, I didn't choose that. I didn't, I didn't set up him. That's fine. Verifying password. It's going to probably take a minute. Uh, again, this is in a VM, so this might take this might take a while. Okay, so that worked. Logging onto the system now. Um, go ahead and log in. I'll take just a minute. If we bear crypt, it'll pop back up again. I'm assuming that'll pop right back up again. I guess we'll see. Yep, there we go. Okay, so now now that that's done, that was just a test. Everything works, works. The passwords all work and all that stuff. Go ahead and click encrypt. Click OK. Click yes. And now it's going to encrypt. Um, and uh, this is going to take a while because I'm on a VM here. So this, this how long this takes is going to depend on how powerful your computer is and on how big your drive is. So uh, keep that in mind and be patient. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna uh, skip this and uh, I'll, uh, I'll cut back once this is, once this is all finished. Alrighty, so the encryption just finished up. Um, go ahead and click okay here, go click finish. Um, and now we should be okay to, uh, to re reboot the system here. And let's, let's see what happens. If all this goes well, we'll get our little password thing here. Uh, my super, super secure, very long password. 
again, the pin I left blank when I was making this. Go ahead and verify the password. Um, and this will take a minute because it's going to have to decrypt the system again. If you're if you're running this in not a in not a virtual machine on an actual physical computer, this will not take very long at all to do this. Um, just a couple of seconds, especially if you're on an SSD. And you should be on an SSD. Don't use hard drives. We'll give it a minute. Okay, we're booting up. And... There we go. That's the whole shebang all done there. Logged back in. Now we've got our nice fully encrypted drive. Um, so you can see that was like super painless to get set up and, and then you're done, right? Um, one, one word about this, uh, make sure you do not lose this password. Um, this isn't the same as your, uh, your, your user password on your system that you use to like log in at that welcome screen where you could just like click I forgot my password and answer a security question. If you if you lose the password to this, you will not be able to access your system and you will you will lose your data. So um make sure that you write that password down and keep it somewhere safe. Put in put in an actual safe somewhere, you know. Don't you don't want to like leave it around, but but uh, me memorize it and then keep it uh, keep it safe somewhere so that if you if you were to forget that you have a copy somewhere so you can still access your data. Um, that's 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 really it uh, that for for this video. Um, once we, once we get to uh, Linux stuff down the line here, I'll show you how to encrypt encrypt a Linux system. Um, that's that's even easier than doing this. Uh, but, uh, for, for Windows, this is, this is the best way that I found to do it. So, uh, that's, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll be having some more good tutorials coming out real soon. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.